Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number five of my Manchester United Football Manager 2016. Let's play. Europa League is going to be getting underway now. First game is away from home against Pana Thanaikos. We'll be anticipating to easily get out of the group, but I don't want to underrate any of the teams, of course. So we've got to think about upcoming fixtures as well. You can see three days later, we have away game against Crystal Palace. You know how tough our last game it turned out to be against Watford. Some games can pan out like that, but Watford have had a decent season so far, but I still got to take it game by game. So we will go in with a strong lineup. It is away from home, Panathinaikos. Uh, we need to start well, get a good start to the game. Schneiderlin, Ashley Young still getting some match fitness. I hope we don't get too many injuries this season. We might have to promote some players uh, from the under-21s to come into the squad. But for now, uh, we shall go in to the game with this team. Okay, Ander Herrera with the corner. It's going to go back to him. Ander Herrera finds Luke Shaw outside of the box. He pulls off a shot. What a strike from Luke Shaw. Second goal of the season. It was good vision there for Ander Herrera to find him, but he still had so much more work to do. And I reckon this goal on 3D is going to look pretty sweet from Luke Shaw. So Ander Herrera did really well. Luke Shaw outside of the box, create a bit of space for himself, and he just blasted it past the keeper. What a hit! Hasn't been too many chances after that early goal by us. Not too bad, though. Uh, we have had a fairly controlling first half. It was a good goal we scored. Uh, we just need to push on now in the second half. But, yeah, definitely guard against complacency. Tricky scoreline, 1-0. So, guys, it is at that point in the game where we are going to make a change now. I'm thinking, should it be Memphis? Do we take Memphis off? Maybe get some games into Jesse Lingard. Probably, yeah, the only substitute I could make on the left side of midfield. You know, bring on Rashford? I don't know. Uh, got both Rashid and Martial on the bench, but we need another goal. But the thing is, Zlatan or Rooney haven't had a great game, so I'm actually going to take off Ibrahimovic, and I'm going to bring. I'm going to go. I'm going to go Rashford. I'm going to go Marcus Rashford. Big occasion for him. Let's try him in the false nine. Usually, I see false nine. Uh, I'm I'm not sure about false nine. Maybe it might work out. Usually. You see false nine in a 4-3-3, and the false nine is the striker position, but maybe, because, let's see, he, let's see what it says, is an unconventional lone striker or center forward who drops deep into midfield, so yeah, so that lone, under, unconventional lone striker is what I'm normally thinking of, but I think more of a center forward type, it could be alright, but he's not a tall, like, he's not like a target man center forward, he'll be a more creative type, not really to get headers on and yeah, use his strength or something, more his creative ability at his feet. So guys, I've made the change now of Laporte for Eric Bailly, just got to be careful of his condition, he might actually get an injury now and he's probably going to miss the next game, it's only a few days away, so we'll make that change and then I guess when you take off Memphis here, this situation at least, we only have... Jesse Lingard to bring on in that position. Uh, what's his best role? Winger on support? Uh, yeah, it basically is. So, how about wide playmaker? I haven't really used that. I haven't really used that kind of role. And I think that's his best, along with winger. But I want to try it just, just for something different. See if he creates anything out of the ordinary and does well. I'll say assertively, I have faith in Bay. I'll say for both those players there. Uh, both, yeah, Ling Lingard and himself. Lingard just seemed deep in thought. Now just five minutes remaining and Ababo got substituted out. So that's a good thing. He's probably one of their better players at a guess without you yeah, going through their whole team. Uh, looks like it's going to end 1-0. I'm not sure if I'm completely impressed with their performance, but at the end of the day, unless we concede a late goal, we are going to get the three points. But we'll see what happens here. Can we actually intercept? Uh, but they may look good. It's SEN. Can he do something? It's Berg now. Play it through. No, no, no. Oh, good save. Whew. Looking at that, though, 
he probably finished, he should have finished that on the rebound, that player, he completely, well, that was a shank, he completely missed that, now Rashford, what can he do with the ball, finds Wayne Rooney, and SEN collides with him, probably would have done a lot of times in his Chelsea days, now Damien, can he get a ball in, can we make it 2-0, no, 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 Ah, oh, yeah, going to be a bit disappointed at the end of the day. There's not too many games when I win and I, yeah, have a feeling of disappointment. Damien, can we get a late chance on goal? Schweinsteiger holding the ball up. Valencia just waiting for the whistle to be blown unless we have a late opportunity now. Go Herrera. No, we just keep in possession. Not too bad. Maybe get a ball in. Rashford! Oh, that was a good opportunity for young Marcus Rashford, but that is... Full-time, Luke Shaw, amazing goal by him today to win it. But Ander Herrera, amazing playmaking efforts today, created a lot. Uh, we probably would have liked to have got more than one goal, but we'll take that and move on, and it's good uh, to get the first win on the board. Away games are always tricky in Europe. But now, boys, we're going to move into the next game, which is away from home in the league against Crystal Palace, who are sitting in 16th. Not a great start to the season for them, but they'd want to get a win here as well at home so they can put themselves in a decent mid-table position early in the season. Uh, highest goal scorer in the league, you can see Zlatan with the three goals. Memphis at the top with four assists there. He's having a very good season. Uh, but again, we'll see what our next game is as well. That's only another three days later. Then the game after that, only three days later. So there's a lot of games right now making it really tough. But I'm thinking Memphis, I, I think the next game against Aston Villa, maybe we can rely on Jesse Lingard. Uh, maybe Ashley Young, he'll get a bit more game time into him. So we need to get the victory here. But we're actually going to substitute Valencia. And we'll bring on one Mata. I'm thinking if we should push him up so he can play in more uh, ideal position for himself. So hopefully hopefully that will be the case. Uh, sorry, not Memphis. Uh, yeah, one Mata will get him as the... Ooh, again, advanced playmaker. Again, we'll experiment with that role. Might work for him. We'll try advanced playmaker. I've n oh, I would have rarely tried that advanced playmaker for the winger. The advanced playmaker role for the wing, I don't think I've used that at all in Football Manager. I just, I, I don't see it working. I just see it as more a central player. But yeah, it may work. Like I said, experimenting more than anything. Bastian Schweinsteiger, there's no real reason to substitute him out. That's what I mean right now. Schneiderlin, haven't really gave him a true chance. But yeah, like Schweinsteiger and Herrera, two in the middle, uh, seem to be uh, doing all right. So we are actually playing with two advanced playmakers. So it'll be interesting to see with one Mata and yeah, Herrera how we go. But they're, one's in the middle and one's kind of on the wing. So again, interesting to see how it will play out. Eric Bay will be starting as well. Come in for Laporte. Deserves a little rest now. So Damien with the throw-in. Short to Ander Herrera. Back to Damien now. Finds Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He finds Martial. Can he prove today, starting him? Can he score? Can he have a good game? We lose the ball now. Balassi, he's going to be using that pace. Not too much in the box, so he waits. Oh, eventually there's something in the box, and that was just a deadly pace. We're supposed to be closing down those wingers, but obviously, yeah, the game wasn't listening to my instructions, and they ended up scoring. Both those players that I was supposed to be closing down ended up, yeah, being key in that situation. Balassi his pace, and then, yeah, Townsend. He looked pretty free and by himself. Memphis. Memphis ball into Martial. Martial! Martial crosses to Ibrahimovic. How about that? That is a great goal. Zlatan, his fourth of the season, but that really was a great play by Anthony Martial to set that up for him. First, the ball by Memphis to Martial. Then he just got past outstring Cali. He was just like pushed away and Zlatan was left with an easy tap in. Ah. And this is a really important game to get three points in as well because look on top of us. There's Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea, Man City and Arsenal. All those bigger teams are performing well. So I don't want to fall below that pack and even West Ham score here to go on top of us and as we head into half time that's gonna be oh no Martial he's picked up an injury 
he's gonna have to get substituted is he he's got to assist he's played well or we're gonna have to take him off he's gonna get a permanent injury and we're going to have to uh, bring on Wayne Rooney but it really does look like we need to make a substitution we already brought on Rooney he's complete forward attack and let's see well Antonio Valencia what's one matter done in this game hasn't really impressed but that's not real I suppose he's been in a way but he hasn't really been an effective player like that Antonio Valencia he's he's just been good he's had a good season but he's not a player can we're gonna have to go on the attack duty for the wingers that's uh, so all we have to do I think well Memphis we could push up because like I said Valencia he'll be preferred how would Valencia go there though okay it's the same kind of rating for Valencia so that's good I suppose and then we will change Memphis into the inside forward on attack really looking for it now I'm thinking I'm th oh central midfields can we now how about this 30 minutes it's 30 minutes. Okay. If we change to our other formation, Rooney would drop behind there. I almost think this one we change to should be with two strikers. I don't know, but Rooney's done well previously when I've dropped him in attacking midfield. Does he have a better role than attacking midfielder? Well, advanced playmaker or shadow striker because he like, plays behind the striker. I think Messi... Why did I say Messi? <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, nothing relating to him. Uh, but yeah, Rooney just behind. Uh, yeah, that may work. And then still, we'll look to exploit the flanks. I, I do I, I do think that can work. Obviously, it needs more of a chance. But yeah, we will make that change. Antonio Valencia will be the player coming on. And then, yeah, tactical change up a little bit. We'll see how Rooney goes. Shadow striker. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're creating anything. It's really... Oh, I, I don't know, because I don't know if we're creating almost chances here or just nothing completely. Do we bring on Marcus Rashford? Do we make that change? We go... We, if we, we can make this substitute like I have before. We take off Luke Shaw, put Damian there, centre-back. But, yeah, put... Uh, yeah, Phil Jones in the centre. And then Rashford, striker. We can go three strikers. Put Rooney... Yeah, maybe Rooney through the middle. We'll see if that works. And he'll go complete forward on attack. And then Rashford... Maybe we'll try... What's... He's complete forward? Uh, we'll try complete forward with him as well. On attack. And we'll see how that goes. We're on attacking. There's basically 15 minutes left in the game so we're going to have to go route one we'll shoot on site when we get these opportunities crosses let's try to whip them in roam from positions be more expressive okay confirm changes i'm just thinking yeah box to box midfielder roman playmaker i think that's all right actually no no and Herrera has to be advanced playmaker and will have on attack as well. Schweinsteiger is on roaming playmaker. Could anything else suit him? Deep lying, yeah, that's sitting too deep. At least roaming, yeah, you can... Oh, yeah, roaming, that's more... A bit more pushing forward, I'll say, than at least a deep lying playmaker. Deep lying playmaker is exactly that, sitting deep. So can we do it? Can we get a late opportunity? I always expect that I won't, but somehow... I do fairly regularly get that late chance, especially at Manchester United. Get a late goal. We have a few times this season. But I feel as though we need a team talk as well. we'll s okay, we'll see what happens here. But if we don't score, I will immediately after that. If we concede, I'll have no idea. Oh, Damien does so well. That was a great tackle. But it made its way back to them. Eric Bay does well to get the header to Memphis. Zlatan... Come on, where's the support? Here it is. Memphis, can he get a ball in? Or oh, was blocked really well. Are they going to get it back? And Herrera. Oh, smart to Schweinsteiger. Rooney, Rooney needs to finish and he does late in the game. Wayne Rooney. And I think that was the right... I think we almost have to make a tactic or formation now. I don't want to, yeah, have too much different instructions. But, yeah, with three strikers, when we need a goal, it's really effective. So now, Connor Wickham with the throw. 
Oh, it's going to go back to him. This doesn't look good. This doesn't look good. Townsend! Oh! No, not a lucky deflection. Fuck off! Oh my god, deflection was so extreme, man. No, no way. Are you serious? Look how extreme that deflection was. Oh, man. We, we were looking like getting three points right now. What the hell, man? Why did that have to happen, man? I don't get it. I don't get it. Encourage them a bit more. My, a lot of my players are looking frustrated like I am. It's just... Oh, those goals are just hard to take, man. What are we doing? I don't even know that was... If it was a mistake... That wasn't even a mistake for the own goal. It was just unlucky for Damien. Really? Ah, oh, I'm really disappointed. That shouldn't have happened, man. Like... That's a game when your tactics don't reflect the result. It's not the fault of the tactics. It's just the luck. It's Those goals happen in football. So I'm not trying to complain about anything. It's just unlucky. You are unlucky. If that ever was true, it would be in today's game. We should have went out of this game now with three points. But we will just get the one and we're stuck in seventh. But saying that we're only one point away from second. So yeah, please don't be thinking like, oh, we may not get in Champions League. I'm only one point away from second position. But then we get an injury to Martial physio four weeks. So maybe I won't make that three striker formation yet because one of our strikers is injured for about a month now. And guys, update on Fosu Mensa's training report. Look how well he is doing in training. That's absolutely amazing development you can see right there. And I did listen to you guys. I'm training him, well, as a ball-winning midfielder, as a central midfielder. Because I looked at defensive midfield. He's already accomplished there. And we don't really use a defensive midfielder. Uh, we just rotate the central midfield position. So we train him there. Uh, that's probably his best position as well, attribute-wise. And he's developing... Uh, really well. You could also look at tutoring him. There's Chris Smalling. I just wonder, yeah, who is the best option? A Daily Blind type or a Chris Smalling? It's I reckon Daily Blind because he can play midfield positions. We'll try. Actually, who has the better determination? That's important as well. Daily Blind, 17 determination should be the highest out of uh, the rest. Yeah, Damien is uh, only 14, and then. Christopher Smalling, yeah, 14. So, uh, Daily Blind for multiple reasons looks like the best option. And I'll say calmly, as a senior member of the squad, I think it will be beneficial if you were to take Timothy Fosu Mensta under your wing and mentor him off the pitch. If you think it's a good try, if you think it's a good idea, I'll give it a try. Uh, so, calmly, again, I'll just invite him to the room. Uh, say, Pasha, I think your game will be improved by learning from Daily Blind. And they both agree with that. Nice to see. Because, again, he's... Uh, a lot of the time, especially, well, when the tutoring goes well, the determination of the player, it increases to what the tutor's... Uh, yeah, what his determination is. It's hard to explain. But, yeah, it goes up. It goes up rapidly if the training and tutoring is going well. So, for his determination to go up to 17... I think that would, yeah, it would just make him look like a better player, a more determined player, and it's good for young players as well in terms of development. I know people have said, like, it doesn't help development, doesn't make a difference, but it does, in my experience. Um, I can tell, and what people have said, and on, like, fan sites, it's, it's pretty obvious it does. So, guys, I've been thinking about it a little bit, and I will only play two games in an episode, not three. I was thinking about doing three because I want to record a lot and get a lot done, but I feel as though those episodes, they take a lot of time to record and then to edit and then to render and upload to YouTube. And if I do two, all those things are less, but I'll still record a lot. I'll record more because I do want to get through a few seasons until FIFA 17 is out. I'm doing this save basically just up until FIFA 17, so you guys know. And then I'll be going Manchester United career mode for that. And I'll be doing uh, the journey, but I won't do the journey, obviously, with Manchester United. 
because that will be yeah too much Manchester United stuff. But anyway, yeah, just so you know, I'll still be recording a lot of this. Maybe get a few episodes out per day, maybe two or three, just to be yes as we get into the series anyway. As I can yeah record more. So I hope you guys understand that. I'll go with two games per episode, so there will be a few, quite a few episodes per season, but I will be uploading a lot, so as long as you, yeah, see the content, it shouldn't really matter, yeah, how many videos are uploaded for the series, if there's a lot, or whatever like that, but hopefully you enjoy the uploads, drop a like on the video, and see you guys in the very next one.